Welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. My name's Nick and today I'm going to show you how I go about finding a $20,000 a month product with only 16 reviews. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I want to help you guys with product research. That's what this channel is all about. Helping you guys learn as we learn and as we grow our Amazon business. So yeah, I want to help you guys with product research. It is a tricky thing and there are so many tools out there that you can use now uh, to give you the advantage. If you use them in the right way, you can get real results. So these are the tips and tricks I use to find real product opportunities. The product I'm going to show you today is a product I would actually sell myself. So pending further checks, but I, I've looked into it and I'll show you guys how to qualify these products as well. And I am pretty sure that this would be a product that I would sell. So all that I ask is that you use these tips for good and you don't become one of these black hat sellers that you know is buying reviews trying to game the system please use this advice for good and try and build a real brand that you know that way you can build a long-term business and that's what I want for all you guys that's what I want for us here um, so as some of you already know I'm a big big fan of helium 10 I'm a big believer of in it and that's it's it's software that I use a lot so yeah today I'm going to show you exactly how I use it um, I've done a few videos before if you're if you've seen our channel um, you'll know that a lot of our videos show you guys how we do things so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and yeah let me know if you've got any questions at all just jump in the comments and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible so let's jump into black box this is helium 10 uh, the tool I'm going to be using in particular today is called black box I'm, I'm also going to show you how I'll use cerebro to qualify uh, a product so this is black box here um, so I've already preset some filters so today we're going to be looking at the US market but if you did want to look at whatever market you've got a selection here you can go to the drop down box and you can choose your market another thing I like to do sometimes is look at other markets that maybe aren't quite as established and look for new product ideas if you sell in Europe you can definitely use amazon.com as a place to find hot selling products that maybe aren't yet uh, you know fully um, out there and third-party sellers aren't selling the products in Europe so it's a, it's a way to find decent um, sort of undiscovered product opportunities so basically you want to set some filters so because helium 10 has a database of over 450 million products uh, you, you're going to need some filters otherwise you're just not going to be able to drill down and, and find useful data that you can use so helium 10 keep hold of products that are live and products that have been archived on Amazon so that's why I love the software so much um, yeah so you you couldn't even find a lot of this information on Amazon because if it's archived it's obviously off Amazon uh, so categories today we're going to go for health and household uh, I'm going to set the price to a million minimum of 10 uh, the other important filters that I'll talk to you about today is this column here which is sales and reviews so if you've seen any other any of my other product research videos this video is slightly different and it's going to show you another technique that I haven't talked about before so this is the important bit here it's sales to reviews and basically I want you to set your within the advanced filters set this to a minimum of 50 and what this is basically doing is it's finding what we want to find is a high number of sales uh, compared to the number of reviews so if a products getting loads of sales but it's got a low level of reviews well that's gonna be a brilliant opportunity for us so that's exactly what we want and what I'm going to show you today uh, so set this to 50 monthly sales uh, I'm gonna go between 500 and 5,000 units a month and that's because it's there are brands out there that are doing tens of thousands of units a month and the chances are if you're starting out they're gonna be quite competitive uh, they're gonna be big brands so it's just to drill down on on this database of over 450 million products so set these filters just like I've done here and hit search helium tent will get to work right away and this is a live tutorial I have already found the product because I want to save you guys time but this is this is how I do it so have a scan through look at any products that might sort of take your fancy um, and what we're looking at here is this is the monthly revenue 
column uh, so this product is doing $35,000 a month um, not bad might be worth investigating um, let's keep going keep going keep going keep going so this was the first one I looked at and I thought oh this looks cool um, I like using this sort of data along the bottom here so last year's sales was eight and a half thousand it means this is an established product uh, their sales over the last year has increased by 179 percent um, but yeah they've only got 29 reviews and this is doing fifty two thousand dollars a month so this isn't the product I'm gonna go on to tell you guys uh, to to go ahead and look at uh, the reason being when I investigated this product basically there's a lot of different sellers on this product and these guys sort of rare brand, rare band um, my pronunciation is terrible you'll get to know that uh, if you watch my videos uh, these guys look to absolutely dominate this market so they've got products um, that are bedded in and they, they do loads of these types um, there's lots of different size variations so as a first product probably too complicated uh, let's go on to page two and keep going so what have we got here this is a uh, essential oil so I do think there's a lot of opportunity uh, within this sort of niche uh, albeit it might be quite competitive if you're just starting out so this is another one that caught my eye um, it's doing eleven thousand dollars a month uh, it's, it's got four reviews um, yeah upon further investigation I think I decided there wasn't quite enough data to go off there isn't any uh, sales trend or price trend data down here so yeah I moved on but you'll see how you can set these filters I mean um, I've set the filters um, you know from 50 sales uh, to every review that they've got um, and that's a good ratio for me but you can play around with this and you're gonna get better results so it will take some time and we could sit here for ages just going through analyzing these results but I want to take you to the product opportunity that I found if you look to the thumbnail and thought this looks interesting uh, this is exactly what I found so it's a twenty thousand dollar a month product with only 16 reviews and it's this one here so Chikori capsules uh, it's an organic sort of herb herbal sort of supplement a uh, hundred capsules and it looks like a bit of a winner so this is the product I'm talking about so you can see how using helium tens black box tool you can find undiscovered product opportunities I'm not going to stop here because there's more I need to tell you to make sure that you're making product decisions in the right way so this took me a little bit of time to find this product um, and yeah you, you can drill down into your niche say you're uh, I don't know in the you sell bathroom accessories or something like that you might type bathroom or bath in the title keyword search so this this tool really can help you even if you're an established seller looking to add to your product range anyway once you find products you like you can pin them uh, and this means you can go back to them later so that's really useful but I love this product um, and I'll show you now basically what I would then do uh, to further qualify this product idea because you can find products like this but you, you just shouldn't jump into a product idea straight away you need to do the background research and speak to suppliers and, and all of that we're not going to go quite that far into it today but I'm going to show you what I would do from this stage so we found uh, the product page on amazon.com and this to me looks really really encouraging so they've only got two images um, they've got 22 reviews now so that did say uh, 16 but 22 reviews um, and if we go down this is the helium 10 ex chrome extension so I'll leave a link to this below as well you can add this uh, for free and it helps you build a picture of yeah basically the sales data of a product so over the last 90 days um, this pink line here is the sales rank so as that this gets lower the product is becoming more and more popular and it's selling more units uh, the blue line here is the price level so that's consistently stayed the same over three months which is good news uh, so what I would do from this point is I would take the ASIN uh, which is here and I would copy that before I do that actually um, what I would do is take this main keyword which is organic 
chicory root and yeah like I've done here I'd stick it into Amazon and just see if this product is ranking for the main keyword in its title which it is you can see it's here then I'd have a look around so people are running sponsored ads here this is obviously um, a product that there's some profit in otherwise people wouldn't run ads and yeah as we can see a lot of the competition the review levels are actually quite low so 128 116 45 377 there but 891 you know this is really encouraging especially in the US um, you know I look at products really 500 reviews and below uh, because I know that with using a lot of my tactics and techniques and real customer service I can get to a place where I can compete so yeah I'd, I'd usually check that out see if the products visible see how competitive it looks um, and then as I was saying I would take the ASIN and the point of this part is I want to find out exactly where this product is generating its sales from so a lot of people I mean if you haven't used helium 10 before you might not know about this but I'm interested in data driven decisions I can't do that without using helium 10 so I'd go over to another one of their tools so it's called Cerebro and this is called a reverse ASIN lookup so it sounds complicated it's not once you get going with it you take the ASIN uh, you paste it into the top here uh, make sure you've got the right marketplace and we just hit get keywords so I've, I've done a search on this earlier to speed things up for you guys but it doesn't take a sec so we'll load it from history and this is amazing data to look at and I'll leave a link as well to another one of my keyword research videos if you have a look above uh, and that will show you how you should be how you can be doing your keyword research for your existing Amazon products as well as products you want to sell so you'll see how people using tools like this are really taking every advantage available to them so for this product here this is where they're getting all of their organic sales so the main keyword uh, chicory that's a different spelling of it there search volume here is 656 searches a month um, this won't be a hundred percent accurate because uh, the only people that would have that data would be Amazon but I can tell you it's a very good indicator uh, I found it to be very accurate so where the majority of this these sales are coming from is probably from this keyword here so chicory root it's got 7,000 searches a month and they are position one so if you look over to the right hand side you'll see organic rank this is where they rank so all of these keywords here they're position one so yeah you you can add up the search volume here what I like to do when I'm looking at launching a product is maybe select 10 to 15 keywords and I like the 10 keywords to add to maybe 15,000 searches a month uh, these guys are dominating because they're top their number one spot for all of these there are I would sort of say look at all the keywords they're positioned between one and five four and you can see where they're getting their sales so can you see how finding a product like this finding out where they're getting their sales from could be really really valuable um, yeah it's incredible and it is data driven decisions it's something we use in our business every single day and you can probably see why it makes everything it takes out the guesswork and turns you into sort of a data scientist but makes it very easy to do so if for example I wanted to launch this product um, we'll have to talk about that another time but if I was to take this keyword chicory root helium tends telling me that over eight days I'd need to give away 152 units so I'd need to basically give away a selection of coupons uh, say we were doing 70 80 percent off and we need we need customers to buy the product with our coupon um, you can use a specific URL uh, if you go on helium 10 forward slash gems uh, you can create URLs and basically what you're wanting to do is obtain keyword ranks for this keyword so create a specific URL you can run PPC as well you want customers to be searching this URL and then making a purchase uh, under under that URL do that over the course of eight days you need to achieve 152 in total and helium 10 is telling you following the CPR eight day giveaway method and this is the Cerebro product product rank method that you are then going to hit page one so 
again we've done a few launches and this does work the CPR method um, it's it's not exact you know these figures but they're a good indication and data driven decisions guys and I really hope you found that useful so um, yeah I can't grow this channel without offering you guys real value uh, you guys know that so um, that's why I do these videos show you exactly how we do it uh, but I've also managed to get some discounts for anyone in the eBusiness Boss community that wants to go ahead and use Helium 10 so if you want to use it you can use at the checkout the, the code eBoss10 to get 10% off any plan so if you want to pay for the whole year up front give you 10% off for the whole year um, I would say when I started I signed up to the uh, I used the 10% code off another person like me um, and it made sense to me because I knew exactly how I was going to use the software I had a plan I knew every month well I want that saving because I'm going to use it but if you're not sure you can use the code eBoss50 I'll leave all details about this below uh, eBoss50 will give you 50% off the first month only so if maybe you think you could get a load done in a month or you're not 100% sure maybe use eBoss50 get 50% off the first month so the first month half price and then cancel it after that um, so yeah um, that's what I'd do if I was in that position yeah I really hope you found this video useful guys and I'd love your feedback so please leave a comment below with any questions uh, anything you're struggling with with Amazon FBA I want to help you guys out that's what this channel is about and yeah if you found it useful please hit the like button I'd really appreciate that um, and yeah maybe share it with a friend if you found it useful uh, we're all about helping people out so if you haven't already, subscribe to the eBusiness Boss channel and there'll be more useful videos from us again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.